Let's talk for a moment about social conditions and uh, social conditions in Devon and Cornwall are unique. Every part of the UK has its own, its own situation. In terms of our homeland, our area, well, we have the lowest average income in the British Isles. You, you know that. Uh, I expect you know that. That's, that's partly a function of the very low incomes in Cornwall because of, um, and Devon too, because of, of seasonal work. And when you have a culture which is based on tourism, that's always uh, a situation. I mean, nothing wrong with tourism. Tourism is great. Without it, I don't know where we'd be. But it does mean that jobs are seasonal and people have less work in the winter. Um, and our traditional industries, farming, fishing, and mining, uh, are in decline, of course. Um, so, so we have we have a situation um, where we do have poverty. Highest rates of child poverty in the British Isles are in Devon and Cornwall. Um, you wouldn't expect that, but it's a fact. Um, the uh, and as I say, the lowest average income. Now you take other functions. I mean, um, uh, you go down to right to the end of the, the peninsula and you'll find uh, the highest rate of heroin use per capita in the British Isles. Again, a function of uh, the nature of our society, the, our unique problems. Um, house prices are high. Uh, that also is because one of the most beautiful parts of, of Britain um, but it comes with this downside. Um, high crime rates, we have high crime rates in particular areas, Plymouth uh, classically, but we have rising crime in areas of social deprivation. And you can see that, you can, you can actually relate uh, crime to, to areas of social deprivation. Um, and sometimes it's blatantly obvious, uh, one of the highest uh, crime rate increases in Devon and Cornwall um, in, the, in, the, in the past year is in Axminster. Now, Axminster, you wouldn't expect crime to go up in Axminster, pretty little place like that. But then you think again and you realize that the carpet factory closed and 18 months ago throwing f some 1,500 or so people out of work and all those job earners um, have their frustrations and their problems uh, because they're now unemployed. And you can see the, 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 the direct link between um, crime and social conditions. What can we do about that? Well, we can't change the social condition. We can't change the situation. But we can, we can be aware and be more caring and be more thoughtful about these things. I think any police and crime commissioner has to talk out about all of the issues. It's, it's no good. Um, again and again I say the vulnerable in our society, the very young, the very old, need special care. We have a unique kind of population too. Um, they talk about us having a population of around 1.7 million in Devon and Cornwall. And um, an electorate of, of, of a million and a half. I mean, that's, that's very unusual. It, it shows how many, uh, I mean, a large proportion of our population is retired people, um, the elderly, and we need, to, we need to care for them. We need to sustain them and watch out for them. Oh, we're all getting older. Um, but, I mean, normally the electorate is, is something uh, about half the population. In our case, it's much greater proportion. Um, and, of course, this population nearly, well, they say it goes up to 2.2 to million uh, in the summer. Nonsense. It goes up much higher than that. There's no proper measure. There's no way of measuring uh, the actual numbers. But in my view, it, it must go up to closer to 3 million in the summer. Uh, in those months, in those July, August months. Those are the big crime months, obviously. And, and that's not to blame tourism but that it is just a fact because our population is bigger uh, in those months um, so we have a, a problem um, that said it's not that it's not that we need to we need to 
focus on the, we can't blame um, the, the nature of our population because, because for goodness sake, uh, crimes like family abuse are all year round. They, and we again have the highest rate, sorry, not the highest rate, but a considerably higher rate than average of family abuse, of uh, husbands beating wives and wives beating husbands and so forth. And sometimes quite a very serious problem for the police. We have a serious problem with runaways, uh, young girls in um, homes. This is an increasing problem because of the, the breakup of society. We, um, we have uh, these repeat runaways um, because there are so many uh, children in care now. And then you get the situation of, of girls becoming mature earlier and feeling a sense of frustration uh, being kept in care and they and they run away and are brought back to what to a home um, it's it's sad uh, these these situations arise in our society it takes up a lot of police time and we need to to think about how we work together to build a more caring uh, society social conditions are relevant to this job and and we need to if we are going to be caring, if whomever is elected as police and crime commissioner is going to be caring, they have to pay particular attention to and speak out about social conditions. Thank you.